Hi everyone, Wayne here from the CAM team at Autodesk, and today's tech tip we're covering a tapered helix plunge. One of the greatest benefits of working with our adaptive clearing toolpaths is your ability to cut at greater depths. But one of the challenges that this brings is how do you get your tool to that depth? Using a standard helical plunge to get down to that depth could cause recutting of the chips and work hardening of the material. Now you might use coolant or excessive air blasts, but we've taken our technology a step further to assist with better chip evacuation. By tapering the helical plunge, which allows for greater swarf clearance for chip evacuation and less recutting of those chips. Here we have a 2D adaptive clearing toolpath with the helical plunge going straight to clearing depth. I switch to the linking tab in ramp parameters, I'm going to change the value of ramp taper angle. Many tool manufacturers recommend the value between 3 and 5 degrees seems to work well. Change it to 5 degrees and select OK. Our helical entry has been updated to show the taper. Let's simulate to see what that tapered helical plunge was going to look like before we get any code. We can see that with each helical pass along the depth of the tapered wall, we've left room for chip evacuation which prolongs tool life and reduces the chances of breakage before you reach clearing depth. And here are 2D adaptive using as much of that flute length as possible, keeping that same consistent chip load the entire time, saving tool life by preventing those load spikes you find in traditional tool bed, reducing any burial of the tool, preventing it from breaking, allowing you to run at higher speeds and feeds for high efficiency machining. You can set up a tapered helical plunge in the exact same way using Autodesk Inventor HSM HSM Works and Fusion 360 Cam.